What's up my friend, welcome back to another video. And today we are taking a look at how to find the key of a song by ear. So a lot of people ask like, yeah, I mean, I can I can learn a song by ear, but finding the key is kind of hard. Like, you know, when I hear a song, I don't have perfect pitch, so how am I supposed to know what key it's in? And so I'll, I'll answer that question for you today in a very simple manner. And before we really do that though, I wanna give you my playing with confidence guide. It's absolutely free, but if you're interested in taking your piano skills to the next level and understanding the foundations behind um, classic piano playing, then I wanna give that to you as a gift for watching this video. It's totally free, so if you wanna click the link in the box below, it'll take you straight there. So how do you find the key of a song? Well, what we wanna do is listen for the tonic or the first note of the scale, the home resolute note of the scale. Now, how do we do that? Usually that's going to be the start and the end of a particular track or piece or song. So let's go with a very, very simple example, Twinkle Twinkle, right? Now, I think you would agree that this last chord that I played made the whole thing feel nice and resolved and finished and complete. So what is that? What, what did I just uh, play there? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. That last note, R, that really seems like the home note of the, of the song, right? So if we can sing that note and find what that note is on the piano, then that will give us a very good indication of the key. So let's do that again. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. So we know that it's a C. So now we test out, is C the root note of the chord, right? So does that mean if I play a chord on C, is that is that kind of the, the key of the song? Is it in C major? Kind of sounds like it, right? What if, what if I thought C maybe was the third of the chord? So it could be A minor, but Twinkle Twinkle sounds like it's a happy song, so it's probably not an A minor. And it could also be A flat major, but twinkle, twinkle, little star, that kind of sounds dissonant. That doesn't really match, right? And you can also test out C as the fifth of the chord. So it could be an F major. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Uh, it doesn't really, really work, right? I mean, it's mostly white notes, but we have the B flat in there, which kind of sounds weird. And it could also be F minor, but again, it's a little bit of a happier song, so I don't think it's a minor chord. So that really narrows it down to C being the root of the of the, of the chord, and therefore being C in C major. Let's go with the chorus from Michael Bublé's Everything. So, and in this crazy life, and through these crazy times, it's you, it's you. You make me sing your every line, your every word, your everything. So which note sounded like the end of the phrase? Well, I really think your everything, like that note there sounds like it's resolved. And if you know the song, you kind of know what I'm talking about. So let's find out what that note is. You're everything. Thing. Sounds like a D, right? So it's. I know it's kind of like a major song because it's kind of happy. So most likely it's going to be D major. You're everything. Could be D minor. But again, it's kind of a happier song, so I think it's more like D major. What if D was the third of the chord? Could it be B minor? Uh, maybe. But that sounds a little too dark for me, so I don't really like that minor sound. Could it be B flat major? You're everything. Uh, that, that, that doesn't really sound like it at all, you know? Because B flat and D major are kind of two different keys altogether. Could it be G minor? Again, I don't think it's a minor key. Could it be G major? Potentially. Um, in this crazy life, you're everything. But that kind of feels a bit weird. You're everything. The word thing feels like it's singing the root note. So that's why it's in D major. So what I would recommend is whatever song you're singing or whatever song you're hearing, try to sing along to the melody and kind of hum the note that you think is the tonic note or the first note of the scale. Then try to find that note on the keyboard 
That's your second step. While you're humming it, keep it consistent and try to find where it is on the piano. And then see if that note is the root note by forming a major and minor chord on top of it. And then if that doesn't really work, then try that note as the third of the chord, right? Or try it as the fifth. Usually one of those things will work. All right. And if you're super, super stuck, you can always just do a Google search and say, oh, what is the key of this song? And usually I'll tell you, you know, you, you can also look for guitar tabs and they'll probably tell you there as well. But just if you want to do it by ear, that's probably the best way to do it is to listen for where the one chord is or where you think the tonic is and then find that note from there on your keyboard. Hopefully that helps. Again, if you're interested in learning the foundations of piano playing, then I want to give you that playing with confidence guide telling you exactly what those five concepts are. And you can always buy like a a technique book for piano to go through all 24 keys, showing you all the fingerings and scales and chords and arpeggios and all of that. But this guide will tell you what those concepts are and what you need to start practicing to make sure that you're covering your basis as a piano player. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next video. Take care, my friend. Bye-bye.